everyone. We have a house. Look. A house? Did you make that stone house? Wow. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Hi, everyone. 여러분 안녕하세요. 조금 있다가 Facebook Live로 할 건데요. I just want to say on here that I'm going to do a Facebook Live because it doesn't really send out any alerts there. Um, and I wanted to upload it onto YouTube afterwards. And obviously, this shape is not the good shape for YouTube. Hi, Lizzie. Hi, Nez. Hi, Dana. So, I think I'll do it on YouTube. Although, now that people are just coming in on here, maybe I'll just upload it in this angle. Who knows? We're at a Korean Kegok, which is a uh, mountain stream slash valley just near to Seoul in Kwachon and the kids are loving it and it's boiling hot it's like 35 degrees here at the minute Daddy? and we caught a load of stuff yeah well, I'll show you in the tent can you see in here there's a tadpole or two and a big fish and a frog <laughs> is there a frog <laughs> it will turn into a frog, won't it? I'm just storing it over here. Hey, Lenny. Um, we also ordered jajangmyeon here, which is pretty fun. And we ate it. The Chinese style, the Korean style Chinese food. Oh, there's like a little man-made waterfall over there. There's dragonflies. It's perfect for the summer weather and it's free which is the best part <laughs> don't take those home Lenny yeah well actually we did find a crayfish in one of these places last year and we kept it as a pet for like six months it didn't die um, and we did it with tadpoles as well but the crayfish ate the tadpoles yeah these are amazing but the problem is if it doesn't rain in the summer you don't get any water but it's been rainy season until just like uh, Friday, Thursday. So the next three or four days is going to be the peak time for all this water as well. What are you doing, Ellie? What are you doing? <laughs> you eating a stone? Yummy, yummy stones. Mmm. Haven't been feeding them properly. Yeah, it's right next to the road there as well, so it's really easy to get to. There's like car parking all along the street as well, uh, so it's super convenient. And Kwachon is just on the other side of Umyeonsan Mountain, which is right next to Arirang Radio. Once you're over the mountain, you're out of Seoul. And that's where they have Seoul Land and stuff like that. And the water over here is pretty deep as well, like you probably have a floating boat not like that yacht that we talked about on the show, but still pretty cool. And it's like up to above your knees. <laughs> no, we got takeaway. You can get takeaway by the stream. They'll come and deliver it here as well. Hey, Shira. Um, such a lovely day as well. If I show you the clouds. Look at that. Huge rocks. Please be careful you don't drop them on your feet. You can probably carry bigger weights than me. Look at my little tiny arms. Where's the sun gone, Ellie? Where did the sun go? Huh? Disappeared. <laughs> I don't know. Let's take a look. Yeah, I wish I'd brought the beers, Hartley, but I forgot them at home. Um, we had a hair shoot for the KBS show I guessed on and I'm going to be guest hosting that for three months K-pop Connection last night and I had a couple of beers and stuff so maybe best that I don't Wow Okay Ellie's telling me to the wall protect the wall Just in case some other kids come Hey Amy, hey Leon Leon, not neon. Maybe he's neon as well, like your hat. I need to get one of these hats with the neck protectors. That's smart, that is. I got my neck out in the open, it's probably going black. Yeah. 
quality. Like if you look over that way, it gets like cleaner up the high up you go up the mountain uh, and less people, but it's just a bit of a hassle to take all your mats and stuff up there. Wow, they're building a little swimming pool. Daddy's dream's coming true. Have a swimming pool was my dream. You're making it come true. Thank you. Putting the kids to work. Yes, Lenny, I'll be doing it with Dabit for the next three months. Um, so we got together yesterday to say bye bye to Angie on her maternity leave. And uh, we had a beer together to bond and become closer so that we're great co hosts together. I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. Hello, Yana. All right. Ellie's really worried that someone's going to ruin these stone foundations. So I have to be on guard. Chikida means to like protect something, guard something. You need to stare at these stones. Don't let them out of my sight. That's strict she is. I wonder where she gets that from. Hey, Siska. <laughs> Are you threatening to shoot me with a water pistol? That's not very nice, is it? Stick of this in my face. I'll call the police. <laughs> and there's Gigi. Nelly. Oh, careful, buddy. Thank you, kind Furby. I'm slacking, Yana. <laughs> Ellie, you need to come on there. Annyeonghaseya. Alice number. Say annyeonghaseya. <laughs> Ellie's saying hello to panties because her auntie's here as well. And young Nana, you more don't touch this job. Yeah, it's like kids haven. If you come here on a date, you'll probably be a bit disappointed. Although there are a few couples. <laughs> Aww. Uh, Auntie Gian says she misses you guys so much. Alison's got a big football tournament tomorrow. So Alison fighting. Yeah! <laughs> Alison is my husband's daughter, so kind of my niece. We're very close. She's really good at soccer. She's only about 10 years old. Do I listen to her? On me, we got to her. Annyeonghaseyo, Namhi. This is just a mountain stream, Siska, in Kwachon. Chikyo Jukye! She's getting ratty again that I'm not looking after the wall. No one's going to take these stones, Ellie. Maybe they will. Who knows these days, right? Uh, yeah, so it's a little keg walk. Well, we talked about with Martin, you know, the mountain streams, the valleys. Yeah, I will protect it. Don't worry, Ellie. And, um, yeah, so this is what they're like. And the water in it is nice and cool as well. We're towards the bottom of it, so it's not as freezing as the top. It's just nice and pleasant, the water. And it's pretty clear. Like I showed you before, we've got some tadpoles and stuff. And if you go higher up, there's crayfish. And apparently river crayfish, they only live in really clear water. So it must be pretty clear, pretty clean. Oh, this is true, Yana. I'm a rock, aren't I? That's what my name means, yeah. That lady fishing with a sieve over there. Well, this is actually a strong net, isn't it? <laughs> oh, bending over the knees like that is not good for me. I'm looking at it, okay? Take your job. Oh, gee, do not carry it like that. If you drop that on someone, 
seriously, buddy. Look how big that rock was. Please be careful. Whew. Kids getting into trouble all the time. I will, don't worry, yo. I will stand here and you guys complete the thing. Let's see. I'll let you guys do the job instead of me. You better not slack. If anyone comes for this wall, you tell me. I'm gonna have a nap, okay? Hey, Josh. Yeah, weather's nice. Like 35 degrees, a little bit too hot, but if you're in a mountain stream, a Gergok is not bad at all. Wifey is sitting and taking care of the mat and the leftovers after we had takeaway Chinese. And my um, my brother-in-law, my sister-in-law are here. Or well, my sister-in-law and her husband, is that how I say it, I guess? And our, my little nephew, they've just arrived, so they're gonna be joining the fun. Protect the wall. Is this what Trump's talking about? Maybe I could send Geo and Ellie to America and they could make millions from Trump building a wall. Look, at, they've done this in like, what, 20 minutes? Yeah! Donald, if you're watching, um, yeah, I'll, I'll provide you Gianelli. I mean, you have to pay for it. I know you've like invested a lot of money or set aside a lot of money for the wall. So yeah, for sure. And because they have to go to school and nursery, you have to give them that time off. But if you play for our tickets as well, we'll be there, Donny. I hope you don't mind me calling you Donny. You've called other people way worse, so... I hope you don't complain, but then sometimes I've heard you are a bit of a hypocrite. <laughs> how's, how's the democratic stuff going? I've heard like experts talking about it and they're not very hopeful of Trump being ousted at the next elections. So, sorry guys. But we've got Boris Johnson, so we can compete with you now in terms of blonde, floppy-haired craziness. Suda Chris, how are you doing buddy? I hope we can cross paths soon, get together. Oh, is Mexico paying for it? Well, I don't care who pays me, as long as Gio and Ellie get their fair share for the wall. <laughs> 35 degrees, but Josh, aren't you... Am I mistaken in saying that you're... Oh, no. You, are, you, are, you, are you in the UK or in the US? Because the UK got their record temperatures recently, like nearly 39 degrees. So, we're not up to that yet. I see why she wants me to protect the wall. This little rascal keeps trying to come and steal rocks. <laughs> hey, Raoul! You're right. Kung Musi done. I'll take that double not to build the wall. See, this is winning at parenting. Getting paid double for nothing. Bye bye, Nuna. Alison, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Alison, fighting the second goal. Hello, Dimitri. Uh, this is a Kergok in Kwachon, which is quite close to Seoul. Kergok is like a mountain stream. We talked about it on hashtag Daily K not too long ago. I'm just going to have to upload this onto YouTube because I'm not going to start a Facebook Live, which was the intention at the beginning of this because of the orientation of the phone for Instagram. But anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yana is, a, you're right, Ellie is a genius. She was stopping the fight in advance, right? Oh, it's so good and fresh here, the air and everything as well. Oh, really? Yeah, bro, when you sent in your water features, the little river and stuff, me and Martin loved it. And Alex as well. Oh, sorry, Alex that was, wasn't it? But, um... We all want to go to Argentina now. You're a great ambassador. You should get some money for like advertising Argentina to the rest of the world. 
Lots of water, Christina, yeah. And lots of cool water. But that's only because we had monsoon rains until Thursday night, Friday morning. And if we come back here maybe next week, because it's meant to be like 35 degrees every day, no rain, there's going to be way less water. Not as fun at all. So we came at a perfect time. This is actually our first time here. Um, we didn't know about this place despite it being so close to our home. Look at the sky. The sky in Korea rarely looks like this. Like, I see this kind of sky in the UK quite a lot, but here in Korea it's quite rare. It's beautiful. Where this, the clouds are like almost edible and touchable. Kang Musi, then you should listen on Saturdays. It's our weekly wrap for Daily K. For anyone who missed it earlier, do you want to see our goodies that we caught in here with these little insect nets? But they work great as fishing nets. Let me show you. Can you see that? A little, it's a fairly sizable fish, isn't it? And then there's also, can you see that down there? And it's not very good focus. It's a tadpole. You see, all right. Oh yeah, he looks all right, doesn't he? And there's another tadpole over there. And I do believe this floating at the top is a lava. Although it might not be. Annyeong! There's Jeyu! And his mummy, their favorite auntie. They're only auntie, to be fair, because I'm an only child. And my wife only has one sister, but she is so good to them. I think they would happily live with her. <laughs> I would like to get in and like have a proper swim, but I just came in shorts and t-shirt and my new Crocs, I've never had Crocs in my life, but I bought these like kind of different ones and they're amazing. But yeah, I didn't bring any swimming trunks or anything. So I'm not going to go for a swim because then my car is going to get so wet when I get in. Wow, look at what my kids have built. Seriously, anyone want a swimming pool? Gio and Ellie. Actually, I'm just going to open this one up. If you buy tickets now, I'll give you a discount. Instead of Manon for entry. Yeah, how much shall we charge people to come here? How much for one ticket? You know, we little Yeah? You have to pay eight of these little rocks, okay, guys? If you want to come in this pool. All right. How about if it's a big rock? How many big rocks? Two big rocks or eight little rocks? Okay. Uh, eight little rocks. Eight little rocks. We're not accepting big rocks anymore. Sorry, the exchange rate for big rocks is just plummeted. Okay. Okay. Do you want some people to come here, Ellie, and come pay for our swimming pool? No. No. Yes. Is it private? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Forest Villopper Hartley Geo. He said he's only got five pebbles. Pebble is like a really little stone. Is that enough? I think, no, uh, I'm sorry, Hartley. I'm going to have to stand up for Geo and say no. He's not into it. You're saying okay? Five pebbles? About that big. All right, then five. You're a good negotiator, Hartley. Has to be more than four, okay? Josh, seriously, I told you when you bought those five big rocks. But you need to, but you have to go home. You need, but you need, daddy, you need, daddy. How many rocks do I need to pay? Eight. I need to pay eight? You're going to let Hartley, a stranger to you, come in for five rocks and I have to pay eight? Are you kidding me? I've raised you for six years. Seriously, kids, so unappreciative. I let him sleep in my bed every night when he wakes up at 3 a.m. Not from tonight. I'll put a sign on my door and lock it and say, remember the rock scandal or outrage, injustice. Amy, seriously. 
I've never felt such pain as this and embarrassment. I want to go in the pool and I can't. I can't find... Where am I going to find eight pebbles? In a stream full of pebbles. Huh? I don't know. There's too many pebbles in the way to find the small little stones. Shearer works in a rock company and she said she's going to pay you in rocks. Do you believe her? I don't believe her. Who works in a rock company? What is a rock company? <laughs> Billy B, Susie's daddy's here, Gio and Ellie. Hello. Say hello to Susie on me. Hello. <laughs> the aunties come. This is true. <laughs> Quarry, I guess that's a rock company. You're right, Lizzie. I'm not going to pretend to be a rock company expert, actually. Hey, nurse on board. Oh, Shira, are you serious? You work for Rockfall, the insulation company. I used to work in construction. Uh, my friend still does, and he does drywall with, I think, rock wall insulation in between or something. That's amazing. Oh, Siska, gonna miss you. Hope everything's okay at home. And mummy's feeling good. No. Oh, wow, you can send in questions like this. This place is the Keogok at Kwa Chum, a mountain stream that we talked about on the show. Not this specific one, but you see the mountains up there, Kwanaksan. And then this is the stream that comes down. And it's such a cool, free place to come. Cool as in, I look cool. And cool as in refreshing. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't look so cool, I know. Yeah? Yeah! If auntie says yes, Ellie wants to go in the deep bit, doesn't she? Yeah, okay. You can go. Going to England and have a doggy. You want to go to England and have a dog? Yeah. But there's no keggogs in England, no mountain streams. Mega dog! <laughs> We've said to Gio, maybe he can get a dog when we move back to England. But, uh, I don't know when that'll be. The only reason we said that is because me, Gio and my wife are allergic to dog hairs. But in England, you can keep them in like a dog house, right, outside. That doesn't sound very nice, does it? You know I'm not a pet person, so I don't know, is that okay? Just have them in a dog house. Yeah! Water. Okay, guys, uh, I'm going to go because this phone is about to explode. It's getting so hot. The fact that it's 35 degrees and it's got a cover on and I'm doing a live stream, I think is overloading it. I will upload this onto YouTube as my weekly video. There is another one that I was going to do for this week that I'd already filmed, an interview with a health expert, like a fitness Dad, expert. You need to get Sorry, I came in without paying. Uh, My God, he's strict. Small rocks. Small rocks, okay. Uh, um, okay, say goodbye you, to everyone. Bye-bye, but you came before, so you need to give me eight. All right, I'm going to pay eight. <laughs> See you guys soon. I'll try and do another one maybe over the weekend and again upload it onto YouTube. Ellie, say goodbye. Say bye-bye. Good boy. Oh boy. <laughs>